Okay, see Linda Law of videos using your TI Inspire cast to solve probabilities problems. Uh, I guess the first thing I'd tell you is that you have to know how to do probabilities first. If you know how to do it, this is just a way to do it really, really quickly. So let me show you this problem that I found and then show you how quickly I got it solved on the calculator. So let's take a quick look. So here's the problem that I found on some public domain. It says a bag contains six real diamonds and five fake diamonds. If six diamonds are picked from a bag at random, what is the probability that at most four of them are real? So remember for a second that we have six real diamonds and five fake diamonds. So I, this is the answer that we're going to come up to. And I just want to show you how I got it. I did one, 100%, minus the probability of six plus the probability of five real, right? So because at most four, so we don't want five real ones, so we don't want six real ones. So if we subtract out the, the probability of getting that from one, we get our probability of 93.29%. So let's see if we can do it on the calculator really quickly, all right? First thing I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to go to my home screen here. I'm going to choose calculate. I'm not going to choose calculate from scratch pad. It's a really bad habit. I don't even know why it's there. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to just start setting this thing up, right? <clears throat> I'm going to do one minus... And then I'm going to do this like this, uh, control division, right? And then I want to know how many ways can I get five real ones? H how could that happen? Well, to do that, I'd have to take six of them, and six, the six real ones, and pick five of them. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to say probability, combination. So I went menu, chose probability, then combination. Right there are six real ones, and I said I want to pick five of them. Pick five. Remember, if I did that, then I would have had to... And I would have also had to pick one of the fake ones, right? So same thing, menu, probability, combination of, there are five fake ones, so five, choose one. So far, so good. All over, right, menu, probability, right, combination. There are 11 diamonds total, and we're going to choose six of them. So 11, choose one. Six. Now, this is where it gets a little bit weird, so I'm going to use your right cursor here. Remember, I said it's going to be one minus the probability of getting five of them, five real ones, plus probability. Oh, I better do this. I better do that. Oh, man. I can do this, right? If you're really patient, you can get this calculator to do, I sort of got anything. So just be patient with it, right? I'm going to do the same thing again. Control division gives me this thing, right? And this time, I want to pick all six of the real ones, right? Because I'm trying to figure out, subtract out the things that I don't want. So, menu, probability, combination, six, pick six, right? So I pick all real ones. And if you pick all real ones, that means, and you pick no fake ones. So that's the that's probability again. That's a combination of, there are five fake ones, and you pick Luckily, you randomly pick none of them, so congratulations. Again, over the same thing. So, menu, probability, combination, and again, 11, pick 6. If you happen to be in high school, your teacher will probably do this differently. He or she will calculate this, and then calculate this, and then subtract them both, one from both of them from one, but you have this really cool calculator, so you might as well make it work. So let's see what happens here. And there is the answer that we anticipated. Again, if your teacher, your professor, wants the answer as an approximated decimal, then it's really easy with the calculator. Just hit Control and then hit this Enter sign, because if you look over the Enter sign, there's an approximation sign right there. So hit Enter, and there it is. All right? So I know this is kind of a lot, but if you practice this, and of course, if you already know your probabilities, this should be pretty easy. And when, what takes everybody else 25 minutes will probably take you a minute. So you'll have lots of time to think over your answers. So, hey, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. Peace.